there is a critical need at hospitals all over Michigan for supplies, especially face masks. And Kevin Leeser says, if you have a 3D printer, he wants to hear from you. Hey, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? Good. So you're a registered nurse, but you have come up with this idea and started Operation, Operation Face Shield Ann Arbor, creating face shields from 3D printers. Tell me how this is all working. First thing I was like, what can we use? This is going to be guerrilla medicine. By the end of the week, we're going to run out of materials. Everything's coming from China and the supply chain is broken. Right. We're not going to be able to order anything. So I knew that was going to happen. And so I wanted to utilize what we have in every hospital, which is a three hole punch and these pins that will affix to a three hole punch film. So when you started talking to other people like, hey, do you have a 3D printer? This is what we're doing. Um, how many people did you get response from? And how many masks do you think that you've been able to create so far and distribute? Yesterday at the barrel, we have a pickle barrel where people are dropping these into a bleach uh, solution to just basically sanitize them. Yesterday at the, at the bucket at five o'clock, I went and poked my head in and it was full. I mean, it's like, it was, it's, a, it's an amazing experience to look in there and be like, wow, these are People are dropping these from all over the city. So there's about 170 in there yesterday, and we delivered 100 of them to um, Beaumont and Royal Oak, and then 70 of them went to St. Joe's in Ann Arbor. And then the day before that, we delivered about 100 the day before. So it's, it's getting exponentially bigger, too. Like, so on day one, I gave away three. And then once this thing took off, I took... Uh, some to a, a market in, in Ann Arbor, a, a Japanese market. He wanted some for his, his employees. So I gave him like six. And then the next day, Huron Valley Ambulance reached out and gave them 20. And they were like, wow, because they're, the, they're on the front lines. The guys in the ambulances are really who are the heroes of this. As a registered nurse, give me a sense of what a difference that you think that it's, it's making. I would hope that maybe we could stop one transmission you know if we stop it from getting to one person then that's stopping it from getting to 500 people maybe these stop a little bit of transmission but at least it's given some people a sense of purpose at, at home where they're quarantined people are energized to do something besides just watch the numbers go up but also my friends in these hospitals are left with nothing it's a it's a terrible situation and we're just trying to get them whatever we can and now the the sad part is like the number of requests has also become uh, exponential. So I'm afraid, you know, the, the need far exceeds what we can print. But at the same time, like the printers are finding out through reporters like you and stuff and some of these reports that are going out. So it's a virus that we're <laughs> tackling with a viral response. So I think that's kind of cool.